Hello, welcome to Back to Coding. In the upcoming videos, we'll see how to use tab navigation with swipe views. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell icon so that whenever I publish a video, you get notified instantly about it. In this video, we'll create a layout for tab navigation. With lateral navigation, you enable the user to go from one sibling to another at the same level in a multi-tier hierarchy. For example, if your app provides several categories of stories such as top stories, tech news and cooking as shown in the figure, you would want to provide your users the ability to navigate from one category to the next without having to navigate back up to the parent screen. Another example of lateral navigation is the ability to swipe left or right in a Gmail conversation to view a newer or older one in the same inbox. In the figure, first represents lateral navigation from one category to another, second lateral navigation from one story screen to another. The primary class used for displaying tabs is tab layout in the Android design support library. It provides a horizontal layout to display tabs. You can show the tabs below the app bar and use the pager adapter class to populate screens, pages inside of a view pager. View Pager is a layout manager that lets the user flip left and right through screens. This is a common pattern for presenting different screens of content within an activity. Use an adapter to fill the content screen to show in the activity and a layout manager that changes the content screens depending on which tab is selected. You supply an implementation of a pager adapter to generate the screens that the view shows. View Pager is most often used in conjunction with Fragment. By using fragments, you have a convenient way to manage the life cycle of each screen page. Standard adapters for using fragments with the view pager are Fragment Pager Adapter Designed for navigating between sibling screens, pages representing a fixed small number of screens. Fragment State Pager Adapter Designed for paging across a collection of screens, pages for which the number of screens is undetermined. It destroys fragments as the user navigates to other screens, minimizing memory usage. So let's create the layout for tab navigation. Create a new project using the empty activity template. Name the app tab experiment. Edit the build or gradle model app file and add the following lines if they are not already added to the dependencies section. If the Android Studio suggests a version with a higher number, edit the above lines to update the version. Also if Android Studio suggests a new version of Compile SDK version, Build Tools version and or Target SDK version, edit them to update the version. In order to use a toolbar rather than an action bar and app title, add the following statements to the styles.xml file to hide the action bar and the title. Open the activity main.xml layout file. Change the root view group to relative layout. In the activity main.xml layout, remove the text view supplied by the template and add a toolbar, a tab layout and a view pager within the root layout. That's it for this video, we will continue in the next part. Keep watching back to coding and don't forget to check my other videos which can be helpful to you.